Today we're going to talk about seated sprints. It's a little bit of a misnomer to call these sprints, but I think that that's the best way to convey the explosiveness of this effort. Remember that when we're measuring power in cycling, we're measuring basically two components. We're measuring the amount of force that's being applied to the crank arm, and then we're measuring how fast that force is being applied. What seated sprints are oriented towards is addressing that force part of the equation. They're not specifically for sprinters. Oftentimes I will have my time trial riders or triathletes do these efforts in the aero position. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to promote the strength part of the power equation. To do seated sprints, uh, we want to stay seated. We want to make sure that our upper body is very still, that we have a very strong hold on the handlebars, and that we're transferring all the power through our body, through our legs, to the crank arms, uh, and to the rear wheel, to drive the rear wheel. When we're doing seated sprints, we wanna focus on applying force through the entire pedal stroke. So you wanna stomp hard on the pedals through the front part of the pedal stroke, and then focus on a smooth transition at the bottom and top of the pedal stroke so that we're getting force applied through as close to 360 degrees of the pedal stroke as possible. To do a seated sprint, we wanna go from a very slow roll and a large gear, so maybe at 40, 50 RPM initially to start before you begin the effort. And then as you begin the 10 to 15 second effort, you're going to accelerate the gear, but in the seated position uh, with a rigid grip on the bars. We're focusing on muscular strength, not necessarily the absolute power. Typically when we do a seated sprint workout, we'll do between five and 10 of these efforts. And it might be during an otherwise recovery ride. So you're just going out, it's gonna be kind of a medium hard day. Uh, we'll do an hour, hour and 15 minutes in total, but we'll do five to 10 of these seated sprints with maybe five minutes of recovery in between. You don't need to do them on the same stretch of road. You can just do them through the course of your regular ride route. For more hints and tips on training with power, check out our other videos on stagescycling.com.